All right, it's time to do a little spring cleaning here. What we have are one, two, three, four giant boxes, and these are all filled with mostly plastic model kits. Some miniatures, but majority of them are model kits, and this is about 90% of my collection. And I need to go around and organize this just try to figure out what the heck I have and I'm gonna clear some stuff out. So I figured I'd record it if anyone's interested in seeing what's currently uh, in my possession. Uh, some of the stuff I wanna get rid of, some I will eventually paint. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess right now. So let's just dive in and see what we have. You may consider this the box of fail of stuff that's never been built and may never, most of it will never be built. And I'm sure a lot of you model kit uh, builders out there are laughing because all I have is four of these boxes. I know people who literally have storage units full of boxes of miniatures and model kits. So, but this is my meager collection. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure all this stuff out so I can organize this between miniatures and model kits. But we have some Das Schwarzog miniatures here I picked up at discount. Yay. Some nice old school looking miniatures. Um, very few Gundam pieces that I have. I bought these because I thought they made good terrain pieces and again, never actually got around to putting them together as most of us. We got Mobius model Star Trek Kelvin, which started on fairly, never did anything with. Age of Sigmar, last of my squid uh, manglers. Probably never actually gonna put those together. Oh, this guy! I gotta get this painted. I've tried a couple times, I never found a paint scheme. Um, I can't tell you the guy's name who made this. I got it from uh, Monster Palooza, kind of a monster convention. Uh, but he just does some really good sculpting. Eventually, this will get done. Uh, Age of Sigmar. Spells. Um, oh, here's something interesting. This is a, a knockoff. Uh, rip-off Megatron kit that I bought on eBay. Uh, I thought it was a toy and it turns out it's actually a kit that you have to completely put together. And you can see it's trying to be Koto Kia, but it's uh, Kubian Bao. So yeah, that's uh, something I usually don't try buying. Bandai B-Wing, still wrapped up, limited edition version. Uh, we got Space Marines, we got Space Marine bases, we got bags of Mars Attacks, I believe this is. This is the miniatures out of the game. Uh, oh, ha <laughs> ha It's a Star Wars land from Disney. The only good thing that came out of those were these little drinks, which will make really good terrain pieces one of these days. What do we got here? We got Blood Bowl. We got some orcs. We got a whole. That's a box of Space Marines. Is that all Space Marines? Yeah, that's a box of Space Marines. I don't know how many are in there. Um, I saved the uh, all the cutouts, the lids from all the uh, Batman kits I've been doing, and I'm hoping one day when I get everything done, we're gonna make a really nice poster out of all of them. Uh, whoops. Half a finished Land Raider. Oh, here's some cool stuff. Uh, Thunderbolt Miniatures, Tom Meyer. Probably one of, if not the best miniature sculptor I've ever seen. Um, I keep meaning to build this and I just never get around to it, but the work he does is just beautiful. I'm pretty sure he's still sculpting too, but uh, anything Tom Meyer is great. Uh, we got here an old ATM Klingon cruiser. Super detailed. Marvin's get Marvin wants the box. Yes, Marvin, you'll get the box eventually. Uh, these are pretty cool. These are uh, Dragon uh, 144th scale. Uh, they made some tanks, and this is, happens to be a uh, uh, train. Thank you. Couldn't think of the word there. This is a little train kit, but it comes with individual tracks, the tanks do. And look at that very teeny tiny photo etch. 
and all the decals. I got a, some more of those we'll come across eventually. Marvin, you're not helping to organize this. Bolt action for my Russians. Oh, I forgot about this. Creature from the Black Lagoon. They had this version. I initially had the, uh, there's a version where he's holding a lady. And uh, that was limited edition. And then they came out with one oh, where he's not holding the lady. And actually, I prefer this one better. And I sold the other one off. We got some Ming kits. I don't know if I'll ever build these little World War II chibi tanks. Last one I built, the uh, treads snapped. So there's some Perry Light Cavalry. That was for a game that I played once and never played again. Marvin. Here's a. Uh, oh god, there he is, Raul. Let's not talk about Raul. What is this? This is some. Oh, this is various decals and. Oh! A template maker. I should have that somewhere else. Try to speed through this. This is going to take forever otherwise. Uh, 15th scale or 15th millimeter plastic soldier tiger tanks. Why do I have these? I don't even know why I have these. Ford 48 Ford Police Coupe. Back when I was going to try to get into cars, never did that. Uh, what do we got here? I got more objectives? Wow. See? That's why you have to go through your stuff every once in a while. Figure out what the hell you actually own. Chickens! Oops. Old polar lights, cling on D7 battle cruiser. Uh, junk, junk, junk. Oh, there we go. Here's the other parts of the, uh, the Dragon 144 scale stuff. See, I got a lot more of this. It's really cool, and it was dirt cheap. Yeah, they, the big kits were $9. Great, pick them up if you can get them. So this is more recent stuff. I think I know what's in this one. Uh, we got Ardent Dragon from Reaper. Arr, look at the size of that wing. Not as much detail as I would have liked on that kit. I don't know if I ever build it. Some other stuff I recently picked up. We got the Death Dealer. From, is that Mobius? Yeah, Mobius. Some train pieces from Pegasus. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, let's have to call them up. It's a Critical Role miniatures that I picked up. I thought they make for good videos. Uh, and um, Keyleth's head is coming apart. I gotta get a replacement for that. Uh, what else? Joker, yes, he will be coming eventually. Creature caster, what could this be? Yeah, this will be something we'll be done eventually. Big creature caster, Cornish, corny looking demon. More Pegasus hobby, oh god, this is heavy. Pegasus hobby's terrain. Cool little spaceship, I always like the uh, Von Braun style spaceships back in like the 50s and so they look great. Bolt action, kilts again. I think this was for some game that I played once, and that's probably leftover bits. I am running out of room to put everything. Just an old school Rao Partha Griffin chariot. Some beautiful sculpting on this old school stuff. Something that I will never put together. Is that Meyer? It is Meyer. Thomas Meyer. He sculpted that as well. I'm telling you, man knows his stuff. Um, something else I'll get done eventually. Scorsia. Sorsha? Sorsha. War Machine. Or Space Marines. I want a lot of Space Marines for never putting them together. And we got some confrontation stuff here. Sigma. 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 Kind of a neat little. Snake guy with an umbrella. Confrontation, big troll. So we got here Saxon uh, things. This is War Games Fact. Was this? Yeah, War Games Factory, which I can't remember if they're around or not still. They got bought out. There were some issues. Ter terrible miniatures, though. Ah, oh, something. I got a couple of these and I ever put them together. These um, Dark Sword. Miniatures. I've never done anything from them, but I 
with some of their kits. Marvin, Marvin is playing in the boxes. So eventually get to those. Super Destroyer, harder to paint than you would think actually. Very tiny kit. Plastic crate. Bought this because I thought it'd be something a little bit unusual to do one of these days. To, what is, what scale is this? 1A scale Schwinn bicycle. Now I bought this, I had a special order it, and then when I get it, they have this coming soon, the Continental, which is the bike I actually, I don't think I owned it, I think my brother owned it. So now I want that one instead. Oh, big old Raupartha Metal Dragon Durin's Doom. Oh, it's heavy. Try to pull something out of here. Again, great detail on them, but just, it's so much easier working on like Bones Dragons nowadays. Conflict, another Ralphartha one. Did a little bit of work on it. The wings on these things are horrible though, because this is just around the time when uh, a lot of companies started experimenting with plastic and resin and other different materials. What did they call it? Redillium, I think, in this? Was this pre-Redillium? But uh, when they switched over away from lead and started moving into pewter and they had to use different stuff. And like I said, those wings are really bad. Another old Raupartha. Basically, it's that. Aha, it's right there. So, sexy lady and a little troll thing. And why is the price stuck on me? Ugh. Ah, so here, here is the rest of those little 144 scale tanks, the few that I have. Again, look at those teeny tiny little photo etch pieces. And if there's one where the treads are showing, I don't want to open these up. Yep. So I can't really see too well in the lighting, I don't think, but those are the treads. They're indivi not individual treads, but you have to put them on. So, cool stuff. A bit more confrontation. Neat looking line. Dark Eldar. Build an army, play with them once, never play with them again. And classic soldier. Sherman's, late Sherman's. And Inquisitor. No one talks about Inquisitor anymore. Uh, GW's 54th scale miniature game. Um, it's nice pieces, but uh, yeah, no one cares about Inquisitor. All right, we're halfway through. Yay. Uh, we got Van Ship from Hasegawa. This is from some sort of anime. I have no idea what it's about, uh, but these really cool uh, turn-of-the-century style uh, airships and started putting this one together like many things and never got around to finishing it but uh, it's pretty awesome looking at, at which is the proper way to say it thank you very much again did a little work on it haven't gotten too far Scout speeder, scout trooper on speeder bike. This is one of the first Bandai kits that uh, came out, and surprisingly, I don't see a lot of people building it uh, because it's pretty neat. Uh, and I started working on it again, and then Mandalorian came out, and I really want to see if they have a version that comes out with the uh, IG88, whatever he's called, on it. So, pretty neat stuff. Foam, ooh. If someone doesn't play. <laughs> Space Marines are 40k. I sure have a lot of Space Marine stuff. Russians. Rubicon. Boat that I bought for some reason. I have no idea why. It's a little chibi ship from Fujimi. A lot of these things that I buy, it's like I had an idea or plan with it at some point and never got around to doing it. As a lot of you can attest to, I'm sure. Mercury Rockets. Pegasus, again, probably be a nice terrain piece. I don't know what I'll do with that. Um, oh, here's something really ancient. I'm gonna ignore the prices on these. I tried selling some of these at some point. Uh, this is a, who did this one? Academy. That's a Blizzard um, Space Marine. What do you call it? Star, Starcraft, that's what it was. 
and these are pretty rare actually. So a little space marine guy in there. I should go and try to sell him because I know I'm never going to build it. Um, so dragon 1/6, one 1/16th one scale guy. That was part of that cape collection that someone gave me. Oh, Vero Ver Roxathrax Reaper Dragon Metal Version. Apollo Saturn. I bought this on a whim because I wanted something big and tall to uh, just build. And it's, I found out later, it's a really old kit and the detail on it's pretty bad, so never got around to doing really anything with that one. T35, this is a ICM. This is back when I used to be, we haven't gotten my armor yet. We're gonna get into a lot of armor at some point here because I used to buy a lot more armor and I just kind of lost interest in it. So I got a quite a few of those kits lying around. Not buying or <laughs> building this one. It was cheap, it was on sale. Bones, basically it's the Bones Tarrasque, what is it, uh, Kanjura, so not sure what I'll do with that, if anything. More confrontation, more, well not more, we haven't gotten to this yet, Dust Miniatures, interesting history behind this, I don't think, these are just for display, uh, I don't want to go into all the whole Dust and Pablo thing, you can look it up online if you want, but, uh, Basically, Weird War 2 stuff. One more box. All right, final box. Uh, we have aliens. Again, I bought these on a whim. They're kind of cute. Figure they'll be an easy build one day. V2 rockets to comb. I, think I, I don't remember exactly why I bought this, but it's a pretty nice detailed V2 rocket. There's a lot you can do with it, either terrain or just paint it up for fun. 135th scale. They make a version of this uh, on a launcher as well, and I think they make it in a different scale too. See, remember me saying I saved the uh, covers to my Batmans? Hopefully make a really nice poster one day. Uh, Woodland Indians. I bought this for muskets and tomahawks. And uh, it's a pretty fun game. It's out of print now, unfortunately. And what upsets me is I was short like four Indians and I couldn't, I knew I had them, but I couldn't find them. I ended up having to go out and buy a whole entire box of what is in here, 24, just to get four more. I don't think I still ever found the original extra ones I had too. Quite annoying. Little miniature pilots. That's for that van whatever ship that I showed you earlier. Bolt action. This is parts for something. I um, can't remember what I use this for exactly, but this is random Gundam parts. If you're looking for little gubbins to put onto vehicles or what have you, there's a whole bunch of Bandai uh, Gundam things you can get, just weapons and blops and bleeps and bloops and all, uh, all things like that. Wolfman Horizon Vinyl Kit. This is a pretty rare one. Unfortunately, the Wolfman's not the real popular one of the group. Enterprise. That sounds like it's in a lot of pieces. Oh, I even have more of these. Look at that. Big old guns. Why do I have two of these? I honestly have no idea why I have two of the same kit. All right, whatever. Um, oh, Jesus. Conflict 47, big ass Soviet army. Someone actually gifted me to this, and unfortunately I never got to play because no one wants to play around my area. Um, oh, this is kind of... This is Triumph uh, TR358. Uh, this... My... Ugh, sad story. My father had this car. Uh, it was his first car he ever bought when he uh, 
came over to America, and he had it almost up to his final days. He uh, basically, the kids, us, we thought we saw one of us was going to get a car. We were going to fight over it once he passed. Uh, and he ended up selling it to some guy because the guy said he made him an offer he couldn't refuse. And then he passed away, I want to say like six months after he sold the car. Um, we have no idea where it is. It's gone. Uh, but I saw this and I should build this one this, these days. So there's uh, some emotional attachment to this kit. Or at least the car that the kit is of. Ignore that part. Fantone Toyota was a gift. Uh, another car kit. I always want to try getting the cars, but you know, I buy them and then I never build them. Um, I will finish this one of these days. I gotta finish that diorama, trust me. Uh, this is, oh, this is for the uh, AT app. I was gonna do a little tiny, not a, well, a little bit of a diorama with them. Uh, again, I always like the weird tanks. So we got a, a Whippet here. I'm not gonna build that anymore. Oh, my Vickers. One of the first video series I did was uh, cleaning up a Vickers kit, and I still have the model. I put so much work into it, I can't do it that much work on a model kit nowadays. Don't know what I'll do with that. Um, is in here. Oh, this is more of the Conflict 47 stuff. Poor guys. I don't know what to do with you. And last but not least... No, it's not Baby Yoda. This is, um... Pathfinder Goblin. It's not a bank, I don't think. Maybe it is a bank. Could be a bank. I don't think it's a bank. Anyway, it's a big vinyl figure that you can see I've been trying to paint and repaint. It's got a big die on it. So one day this will make a nice statue. But in the meantime, it belongs in the bin. So yeah, that is, again, that's just the box model kit collection. There's some miniatures in here as well. Uh, I got a whole lot of miniatures, which I'm not going to bring out because showing you every single miniature I own will take hours, if not days. So, yeah, I'm going to get this organized, and uh, I hope I didn't bore you to death. Thanks for watching. There's 2,486 parts. 485, sir. Each part.